So I've decided to film a tiny little upgrade I've done to my mill, something I've been meaning to do for a while. I'm going to do two upgrades today. One, I'm going to build some loading ramps over the 2 by 4 inch 316 wall steel over there. And uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a little bit. But this is just a piece of expanded metal that I got from the metal supermarket. That's where I, I got all the rest of the steel for this mill. They've got uh, great service in, uh, in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Anyway, they treated me so good. Um, sure, I could buy it cheaper probably somewhere else, but the service is second to none. These guys, uh, whatever I need, they cut it exactly the right length. And even if there is uh, something weird, they ordered in for me. But anyway, this was in their offcut pile. I didn't brag them up anymore today. I cut this to fit in between the rails, between this rail and that rail. I think it was 43 and 3 quarter inches to fit inside those 2 inch box steel. And then I drilled and tapped. You see an Allen head bolt in there, right in there. I don't know if I can get a shot of it anyway. I drilled and tapped eight millimeters so I could stand on this is one, one reason. So I can stand on that traction, good traction, and service the motor, change the oil, and, and uh, if I have to take the front of the cover off or change the belt, all that business, change the, well, not the belt, the, the blades or band wheels or service anything on the motor, I can, I can do that. But, but this allows me to put a, a stump, and believe it or not, part of my market I've sold quite a few anvil stumps so I put the stump here and I can shave the top of that stump off and it gives me a nice place as a platform below the bunks and then I can turn the stump upside down and then cut it off exactly the height they want um, the magic number for a stump is between the top of your fist should be where the top of the anvil is so you measure from the top of your fist to the ground and then subtract the height of your anvil and that's how big I make the stump and that gives you a perfect blacksmithing fairly effortless fatigue free anvil stump and it gives it two perfect parallel surfaces from the top of the of the stump to the top of that expanded metal and it's got tons of holes in it so I can screw to it or or tie it down or strap it down or clamp it in some way it just seems to be a lot more uh, responsible way to do it a lot easier and a lot less dangerous than trying to clamp it somehow in the bunk so anyway that's just a little update to the log father 2236 thanks for watching this little video over and out